Hi, and welcome back to Steel Rubber Products how-to video series. My name is Matt, and I'll be your host for this project. Today, we are going to look at how to install the seal on your RV and trailer access doors. Because this video covers RV and trailer access doors, we'll be working with multiple part numbers. Not to worry, we'll make sure to feature those in the description below along with any tools we use. We've decided to combine these videos to demonstrate how the application process is pretty universal between the two. First, you'll need to identify the type of seal you're replacing. You can do this by looking at the seal profile and what the seal is made of. Is the seal spongy or solid? Also note how the seal is currently attached. Does it use adhesive? Does it slide into a track? Or perhaps grab onto a flange? Now you'll need to take some measurements. You'll want to note the height and width of your seal. Finally, measure the length of the perimeter of the door where the seal was that you're replacing. All of this information will help you quickly identify the best replacement for your seal. To do so, compare your existing seal with one that we carry. Our website or RV catalog can help you in this process. The catalog is easily downloadable from the website or you can call 1-800-650-5135 to request a free print version. If you have additional questions on identifying the correct replacement seal, our product specialists are available through live chat on our website, emailing us at rv at steelrubber.com or by simply giving us a call. To ensure the best fit, just know samples of our parts are always available at your request. For the trailer door, we used part 83-0110-73, which is sold in 10-foot strips. You can find this weather strip in a variety of other lengths on our website. However, for the RV door, we used part 83-0119-73. Before installing the new seal, you will need to thoroughly clean the area. First, by removing the old seal, then by removing the adhesive. We recommend using 3M adhesive remover. Depending upon the age of the seal, you may need to use one of our plastic scraper tools and allow more time for the cleaner to work in. To install the seal, start on one side of the door and work your way around the perimeter. We recommend starting on the inside of the door frame first. To create a seamless look when going around corners, you can cut the corners at a 45 degree angle. Before detailing the process, just be aware that if you purchase a part from us and alter it in any way, it's not returnable. We cut a 90 degree angle triangle out of cardboard to use as a template and mark the area we wanted to cut with a brightly colored marker. Cut the marks you made from the template, taking special care not to cut all the way through the piece. Once you have made your corner, Glue the seam back together using a super glue. We recommend Loctite 495, which is part 96-0495-96. Now you can proceed with your installation. It's important to note that the seal you got for the inside frame may be different from the seal on the outside door frame, so be sure to check both. When it comes to seals, you can always refer to our simple process. Remove the old seal, identify the new seal you need, clean the area, and install. Again, if you have any questions or concerns, contact us, and we'll be happy to find the right fit for you. That wraps it up on how to install a seal for your trailer and RV access doors. Thanks again for tuning into our video. If you liked our video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest how-to videos from Steel Rubber Products.